Why peace? The world will tell you this is what the world needs, this is what the world needs, this is what the world needs. But seven billion people on the face of this earth are crying out for one thing and one thing alone, and that is peace. And peace is not the absence of war. I travel not because I like to travel. I travel so I can say this. What you're looking for is inside of you. And you should be in peace. Prem Rawat has been traveling for 40 years, inspiring people around the world to find peace within. Buenos dias. Shalom. Buongiorno. Guten Tag. Bonsoir, Montreal. I go and I talk to people. And I present them with the possibility of themselves discover the peace that lies within you. The first event took place at the City Council Hall, an antique church filled to capacity where Prem Rawat received honorary citizenship from the mayor of Mazara, Giorgio Macadino. Io già sono particolarmente emozionato perché già lo conosco Prem Rawat da pochissimi minuti ma già mi ha ispirato una grandissima fiducia per il modo di fare, per la semplicità. Mi accingo ad conferire la cittadinanza onoraria a Mr. Premier Rawat, ambasciatore di pace, per il suo costante e nobile impegno e per la sua proficua e lodevole azione volti all'affermazione del bene primario universale dell'umanità, la pace. The session was introduced by Mr. Francesco Crocchiolo, the president of the Mazara City Council. Then, young students of the local high schools asked questions which were answered by Prem Rawat. The session was then concluded with a speech by the mayor of Mazara. La vita è un viaggio, e il viaggio della vita è così bello da non aver bisogno di una destinazione. E questa è una sua citazione che ho avuto modo di leggere. Ma al di là della splendida metafora, senza una meta precisa non si rischia di andare alla deriva. Grazie. Well, first of all, uh, I would like to thank everyone for being here and for inviting me and for asking this question because um, I think it's a very important question. We can look at this life and this journey as a destination, having a destination. But we cannot forget that every journey has to have a purpose. Now, in some journeys, the purpose is to reach a particular place a particular destination, a particular set of coordinates. But in this journey of life, the purpose is to enjoy, to enjoy this journey. And that in itself is the destination of this journey. Not a physical place, not a mental place, not a place that is given to us through society, but to enjoy, to enjoy being alive. To every day feel a gratitude for this life. Because we, be, we get too concerned about our destination. 
And do you realize that in this day and age, if everybody was asked what their destination was, they would all come up with different destinations. Pretty soon, this wouldn't just be a journey, it would be a highway with accidents, traffic jams, and then people policing to make sure we don't break rules. But when the purpose of the journey is understood that it is to enjoy, then yes, I agree with you that we cannot drift away and not drift away from the enjoyment every single day of this life. This is the purpose of this journey. Grazie. Intanto volevo permettere che la, questa giornata è molto importante per noi mazzaresi, poiché la sua presenza ci arricchisce ed è motivo per noi di profonda riflessione. Ma volevo chiederle quando e come è nato in lei il desiderio di diventare ambasciatore di pace nel mondo. Grazie. Well, the title was given to me in Brazil of Ambassador of Peace, for which I'm very grateful. But for me, since I was very, very young, I wanted to bring happiness in people's lives. Not a joy of two minutes, not a smile of two minutes, but a true happiness that people can find a beautiful fulfillment in their lives. This is all I want. This has been my quest. This is what I have been trying to do before I was given the title of Ambassador of Peace. And this is what I have been doing after I have the title. To me, to be humble in this life is very important. To me, the only focus I really want in my life is to take this message of hope and the possibility of peace to as many people as I can. It began very young. I'm not counting the days. I myself am trying to enjoy the process of being alive and this message. And I hope that I can continue to do so till the very last breath. This is all I want. This is all that really matters to me. I have dedicated my life to this cause, to this purpose. And so it began at a very young age and it still continues to unfold. And whether I have been given these titles or not matters little because what really matters is opening one heart and another and another and another to the possibility of peace in their lives. Thank you. Grazie. La mia domanda nasce dalla constatazione che l'intolleranza è propria di ogni uomo e delle società di, di ogni tempo. E questo spesso degenera nella, nel fanatismo. Io mi chiedo se il fanatismo che si alimenta nelle passioni razionali può essere combattuta con la ragione. Grazie. Another excellent question. Yes, there is fanaticism. Yes, there is cruelty. Yes, there are these elements in this world. And if we want to make these insignificant, there is only one way. It's to make the voice for peace much, much bigger. And That is the only way, that is the only way I can see that these proportions can be brought down. Because today, reason has disappeared. People are not reasonable. People are not reasonable. They see violence 
as a viable alternative. The problem is it's on both sides. It is on the bad side and also on what is supposed to be the good side. And when it is violence answering violence, it will only become more violent. But the only hope that I feel, that I feel, is to have the voice of peace be bigger than the voice of violence. And that's it. Thank you. Noi tutti sappiamo che Seneca parla nel De Tranquillità Teani della pace interiore come di uno stato da raggiungere per mezzo dell'allontanamento dalle preoccupazioni terrene. Lei pensa che ciò sia realizzabile per gli uomini del nostro tempo? Again, I will sound like I'm repeating myself, but again this is also an excellent question. Because there are so many formulas out there, some people say if we get rid of all our worries, we will have peace. Now, I'm not familiar with Seneca's works, and I can only speak from my own experience. But my experience says this, if you have peace in your life, you will have happiness. But if you merely have happiness in your life, you may or may not have peace in your life. Life, in this life, happiness is a result because you have peace, because you have contentment inside of you. So all I can say from my experience, thinking, trying, trying to resolve the issues of how I will get to peace, because peace is inside of me, peace is inside of you. Not by taking away the worries will the quest of the peace be fulfilled. Because so far you are alive, you will be worried about something. You see, the peace that I talk about can be experienced in the middle of the war. The peace and the freedom I talk about can be experienced in the middle of a prison. This is what I am talking about. The peace that is innately inside of you. Maybe worldly peace will be better if my worries are gone, but truly, if I can find the peace that is inside of me fundamentally, then worries will come and worries will go. But I will have peace in my life. This is just my experience. My experience. I cannot try to define somebody else's experience, but in my experience, Thinking, stop, stop thinking about food does not take away my hunger. And I need to quench my hunger. I need to satisfy my hunger. So thank you. Da domani credo che ci si sveglierà ringraziando prima qualcuno per essere intanto in vita e un attimo dopo guardare a quanto di buono puoi fare perché sono stanco, ho partecipato a molte manifestazioni per la pace contro la guerra ma ho capito che la pace la si deve coltivare ogni giorno soprattutto in assenza di guerra perché se questo profondo sentimento di ricchezza, qual è la pace, abbiamo la possibilità di toccarlo per mano, di affiorarlo, di tenerlo su Credo che guarderemo di più e meglio a ogni singolo giorno, a ogni singolo istante di questa nostra vita.
inizierai a cercare la pace, allora la pace inizierà a cercare te. E questa è una sua celebre citazione. Ma l'uomo questa pace la desidera veramente. Lei che ha tanto girato il lungo e largo il, mo il mondo, che idea si è fatto? Cosa si potrebbe fare concretamente sul piano economico, politico e sociale per rendere più vicino una prospettiva di pace? I potenti della Terra, a suo avviso, si stanno adoperando per questo. Grazie. Excellent question. And uh, yes, I have traveled around the world. And what I have found that people, people, we are all people, we are human beings. And human beings desire peace. Is peace a luxury? or necessity? This is a fundamentally important question. Fundamentally important question. We know that breathing is not a luxury, it is a necessity. We know that water is not a luxury, it is a necessity. We know sleep is not a luxury, it is a necessity. Is peace a luxury or necessity? I am not here to impose my opinions on you. But I say to you that peace is a necessity, not a luxury. Wherever I go, that's what people want. What I have seen, is people want is a little elbow room so they can practice their religion, they can love their family, they can have food to eat, they can have a place to stay, and they can do what they want to do to be happy. This is what people want. But when you have the elements of greed, when you have the elements of fear, when you have the elements of anger, when you have the elements of confusion come in between people and their own desires, everything becomes very convoluted. And this is what is happening. You can see it all around. This is what is happening. Will institutions bring peace? No. 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 Why? Because peace already is inside of everyone. What institutions can do is to help people find that peace within them, not create it. We think that peace is absence of war. Peace is not absence of war. Peace is something else. And it begins with you and me. Each one of us. This is how it has to be. If we cannot make the difference, then who will? Crows? Frogs, we are the ones that bring the war, and we are the ones that can bring the peace. We are the ones that bring the confusion. We are the ones that can end the confusion. And this power rests with every single human being on the face of this earth. So yes, people want peace. Yes, people want simplicity in their lives. And that's all. That's all. The institutions, People look towards, they will solve the problem. We need to solve the problem. People of the world will solve the problem. Institutions are there, and if institutions want to help, that's what the institutions are for. You know, the day <laughs> you have to push your car, the day you have to push your car to go anywhere, 
Instead of the car taking you, you've got a problem. And right now, right now, there are not too many places in the world where people have this kind of spirit to unify, to come together, and when they will be, yes, then one day, there will be peace. Not only in this earth, but in the hearts and the minds of every single human being. Thank you. Allora io posso dire che gli studenti che hanno fatto le domande si sono ben preparati, hanno cercato su internet perché disconoscevano Prem Ravat, hanno studiato, hanno cercato di capire e hanno espresso con il loro cuore le domande che hanno fatto a Prem Ravat e di contro hanno avuto delle risposte che io ho parlato prima con uno di loro e le risposte sono state non solo esaurienti per i loro concetti ma soprattutto esaurienti per il loro cuore mi chiedevo se c'è una domanda che non le è mai stata posta ma alla quale avrebbe voluto offrire risposta grazie um, <laughs> when I received the list of the questions I read this one and I started laughing And then I started thinking and thinking and thinking, what is one question that I have never been asked? People have been asking me questions when I was eight years old, seven years old. One question that did come to mind, and the question goes like this, because I know that a person's worth is judged by what he has, not by what he does not have. So nobody has ever asked me this question, which is how does it feel to bring peace to a person? And the answer to that is in that moment when a person experiences that peace in their life and I had some role to play in it, in that moment the purpose of my life is fulfilled. That is how good it feels. And this is what I want to do. And so many people have expressed their gratitude to me so many times for bringing the peace in their lives. And for this, I am grateful to them because their gratitude not only humbles me, but brings me an immense amount of joy. That's the question. Grazie.
peace. The world will tell you this is what the world needs, this is what the world needs, this is what the world needs. But seven billion people on the face of this earth are crying out for one thing and one thing alone, and that is peace. And peace is not the absence of war. I travel not because I like to travel. I travel so I can say this. What you're looking for is inside of you. And you should be in peace. Prem Rawat has been traveling for 40 years, inspiring people around the world to find peace within. Buenos dias, shalom. Buongiorno, guten tag. Bonsoir, Montreal. I go and I talk to people, and I present them with the possibility of themselves. Discover the peace that lies within you. Buenos dias. <clears throat> so thank you for coming today. And the reason why I am here is not to tell you about the good, the bad, or the right, or the wrong. But the reason why I'm here is to tell you this beautiful story, the story that is about you. Not the failure, but success. Not some idea, but reality. Not a philosophy, nor a theory. Because that, that's not what you are. You're not a philosophy. You can think of a philosophy. You can listen to a philosophy, you can comment about philosophy, but you are not a philosophy. You are something living, existing, breathing, changing, evolving human being. You're not a theory. You're not a possibility. You exist. When I say peace, I mean the peace that exists in the heart of every human being. When I say the word truth, I don't mean some word buried in some page. I mean the truth that exists in your heart. When I talk about the possibility, the possibility is about you being content and you being in that peace. So that's why I'm here. You know, the beauty of this stuff that I talk about is it's already there. That's the good news. It's not like a bird that if you don't look at just the right way, it will come and disappear. No. It's already here. It's inside of you. And even if you never did come here today, it'd still be inside of you. And it was inside of you before. It is inside of you now, and it will be inside of you when you leave. The idea is to know, not just philosophically think, but know. Is truth so simple that there is a reality inside of you, and all you have to do is recognize it? <laughs> really? All it takes to remove the darkness of a million years is one little lamp? Not a million lamps. <laughs> Not for each year of the darkness. No, just one lamp can remove darkness from a room that had been in darkness for a million years like that. There is a lamp. 
inside of you, waiting to be led. Lit by understanding, lit by knowing. That's why I want you to know. <laughs> That's why I want you to see that lamp lit within you. And the darkness removed. Not somebody coming along to you and saying, now your lamp is lit. <laughs> no. When you no longer see the darkness, the lamp is lit. Then the lamp is lit. When you feel that presence of the divine inside of you, then you know. And there are no questions then you know what I say to you is the truth. So different, huh? You don't really hear this stuff. Because other people will give you, and yeah, you know, you should be kind. Well, yeah, you should be kind. But why aren't you kind? What is the reason why you are not kind? You should love. Why don't you love? Because sometimes in the world of make-believe, we forget what reality truly is. We forget looking at this world. We forget that there is an innocence in every single person's heart. That truly there is a divinity that dances inside every single person, day or night. We see the cruelty in this world and we forget about the kindness. We hear the lies in this world and we forget about the truth. We see the greediness and we forget about the generosity. But truly, the answer does not lie in more greed. The answer lies in generosity. The answer does not lie in hatred. The answer lies in kindness. The answer doesn't lie in more lies. The answer lies in the truth. And the day we can come back home to our understanding, that is our home, to our knowing, till that day, till that day, nothing is going to feel You have heard people say, oh, life is a journey. Maybe I've said it too. <laughs> I've said it too, life is a journey. But I wonder if people say life is a journey because they haven't found home. And those who have might not say life is a journey. Have you found your home? Have you found your home? Have you found your wisdom, your potential, your capability, your possibility? Have you found your lamp? Have you found your kindness? 
Have you found your love? Have you found your rhythm? A lot of people say, that's too much. <laughs> You're asking for too much. I am busy in this world. I am busy. Pray tell. Busy doing what? Busy ignoring life so you can live? What kind of living would it be in which life has been ignored? The coming and going of this breath has been ignored for the responsibilities of this world. I'm not here to say to you, you should quit your job. Don't. <laughs> what comes first? What comes first? A lot of people think, here, I've been placed on this earth, and people go, I wonder why I am here. You know, this is one of those questions that has been asked again and again and again and again. Probably some Neanderthalic man standing on some ledge asked the question a long time ago as he looked at the stars and he went, why am I here? People today still ask the same question. Why am I here? What is the purpose of my life? It is no accident. Because unless you feel that purpose in your life, unless you understand that purpose in your life, no matter how much information you have been given, it will not be enough in the same way. Same way in your life. If you want to know, then this step you must take. What is the step? To show you what is within you is easy. You know the hardest thing is? For you to understand that what you are looking for is inside of you. <laughs> for what you are looking for is inside of you. This is the hardest thing for people to accept. Have you ever eaten a mango in your life? Papaya? No mango papaya? Have you seen a papaya tree? Papayas are sweet. Sweet fruit. Mango is a sweet fruit. It grows in dirt. Have you ever tasted dirt? When you were little. Not sweet. Not sweet. The air, not sweet. The sunshine, not sweet. Where in the world this mango living in a non-sweet environment, make a fruit like mango. How is this possible? And a master at it, master, master of taking that goodness and making that fruit 
my goodness, how? Are there really little elves who go around with sugar cubes and <laughs> go put sugar in every one of the mangoes? Juice so pure, pure, no grit from the dirt. If a mango tree can be the master at making a mango from nothing, Imagine yourself what you can be a master of. You too should be a master in your life. Just like that mango tree. From all this, that is so crazy, that is so weird, that is so strange to extract and make a fruit that is incredible. You have the seed in your hand, the seed of understanding. Sow it. Sow it in the field of knowledge, of knowing. And watch it germinate. Watch the miracle unfold. In this beautiful garden, beautiful garden of life, not the garden that we have created from our misunderstandings, but the true garden of life. True garden of life in which there is kindness, in which there is understanding, in which there is love, in which there is beauty. Then in this true garden of the divine, so, the seed. Water it with your effort, your want. And I will tell you, it will grow. And when it will grow, it will flower, there will be fruit, and you will eat of the fruit, and that is the day you will be satisfied. That is the day you will be satisfied. And because you are satisfied, that is the day you will understand what true happiness is. Happiness is a state of contentment. When you are content, not here, but here. In the domain of the heart, in the domain of the heart, when you are content, when this heart is content, when you satisfy this, this immediately gives you the gift of peace. Here, peace. When you satisfy this, this gives you a gift of, here, enjoy this, a little happiness. The day, the day you can smile, and not know why you are smiling. That is the truest smile. 
The day you can laugh and not know why you are laughing, that is the truest laugh. And the day you can be happy and not know why you are happy, that is the day of ah, the gratitude. Thank you. That is the day you become really thankful because you don't know what you did to deserve this, but you feel it and you go, thank you. Thank you for being alive. That is the way to live. That is the way to live. So, I would like to thank all of you for coming. Why am I thanking you? Because this is my passion. This is my passion to take this message, to take this possibility from nation to nation. People in the middle of the war, listen to this message. And I hope that people like you, this is who we are. This earth is full of people like you and me. At the heart of every single person on the face of this earth, we all want and need peace. Maybe different nationalities, there may be different ideas, there may be different methods, but to common people, of this earth, there is a goodness inside each one of you. It is time that peace be given a priority in this world. It is time. And it is the interest of people like you that will one day, that will one day make peace possible on this earth. Because I know that peace is the perfume of God. And when there is peace on this earth, we will all know we are that much closer to our God because we can smell the perfume. So close, so beautiful, so simple. That's all I have to say to you. Take care of yourself, enjoy this life, grow. Whatever you do in your life, always know that the one you are looking for is inside of you. Doesn't matter how dark it gets on the outside, always know that there's a lamp waiting to be lit inside of you. Go with that strength. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you.